Hello everyone, welcome to my second top 10 list. This time we are looking at Strange and Paranormal phone calls. Sit back, grab and grab a patty, and enjoy. Number 10, the Bigfoot 911 call. In 1997, a man called 911 claiming a big hairy creature was in his yard. When the operator asked to describe it even more, he described it. It seems more like Bigfoot than an unknown creature. Oh, you think that's scary? This isn't even the last one. 911, what are you reporting? Well, uh, we got someone or something crawling around out here. Did you see what it was? Was it a person or an animal or? I can't tell. All I know is that my central light came on and I just happened to glance and see this thing running across the yard. Uh, a good sized man or something looks like a man. I don't know what it was, just that it ran across the yard. Okay. You've had problems in the neighborhood before? Yeah, my dog was killed here just recently. I don't know what it was, whatever it is, it's running. I couldn't catch it if I was going to chase it. So whatever it was, it was standing up. I'm out here looking through the window now, and I don't see anything. I don't want to go outside. Jesus Christ, you better... Sure. See ya. Hello? Get somebody out here. What's going on now, sir? That son of a bitch is about six foot nine, I don't know. Do you see him now, sir? Yes, I'm looking right at him. Uh-oh. Getting a phone call from an unknown number, he picked it up only to find a man on the other end of the line. When he questioned the caller, he mumbled, Why do you want to know? A short pause was between them when the caller said, I can see you. At that very moment, a train passed the receiver's house, and on the other side of the line, the same thing can be heard. Then he hanged up. I don't know about you guys, but I'll call the police. Like, I don't want a stalker to be with me, okay? Like, why does nobody call the police? Number 8. I'll kill your sister. A 17-year-old boy receives a call from an unknown number which turns out to be his sister. The sister told the 17-year-old that her husband's father was raping her and that he wanted to talk to him. The 17-year-old got in touch with the father and the father said he wants to do sexual stuff over the phone. The boy screams no, which upset the father. He threatened to kill his sister if if he doesn't before the connection breaks up. He called his sister only to find out she never called him. Dun dun dun! Number seven, the ever long prank calls. In the 1970s, Bashir Pakoshi opened a successful restaurant in Washington D.C. When something happened, he got prank calls, which turned out to be death threats to not him, but his entire family. The caller did these calls for not a day, but nine years. Everyone in his life was a target to these calls, from his pregnant fiance to his employees. They kept coming and coming. Heck, it wasn't even safe in other states. When he visited his sister, the calls were coming to his sister's house. It got him so mad that he thought he was crazy when the caller mimicked a little girl, which Bashir called him a fit. When he signed up to a mental institution, only for the FBI to find out that it weren't coming from one phone, but multiple pay phones. All the pay phones were so far from each other, so one, so more than one person has to be a part of it. I feel so bad for this guy. Getting death threats daily for nine years. Must be a bummer. Number six, the death at 1030. In the year 1963, a woman called a switchboard operator at 10 a.m. saying that the president was going to die in 10 minutes, which didn't happen. She then changed her prediction to 1030, which did happen. The time between 10 a.m. to 1025 a.m. were encrypted messages like, there are fires in the window. But what's really scary that... The president was supposed to be in the place of his death before 
and was brought back. How did the woman know of this? Of this is unknown. The president? Oh, the president at the time was JFK. I knew I shouldn't put this in my fifth grade project about John F. Kennedy. Number five. I didn't know how to help her. A woman came home one night to find a voicemail. She received a voicemail of a woman saying, I didn't know how to help her. In a smug voice. The woman then describing the incident that never happened. Six months later, her friend got into a car accident, which the, which killed the couple in the in the other car. The female was pregnant. That's um that is um I'm not gonna make a joke here. Sorry. Number four, the call that never happened. Yay! Another call that didn't exist and totally didn't happen before in this list. A teenager received a call from his mom's phone. He didn't pick it up, so it went to voicemail. When he opened the voicemail to find his mom whispering his name, then panicked before it ended. The boy ran home only to find that his mom was okay and she never left the voicemail. Plot twist! Number three. The disturbing side of the wrong number. A man gets a call from an unknown number which turns out to be the wrong number. Harmless, right? Wrong! He picked up only to find two females discussing about a murder one of them did. The man, shocked by what he's hearing, so quiet when one of them said, Miss Sentence, and asked, Wait, do you hear someone else on the line? Before the receiver hang up, thankfully, they never caught him again. Why does no one ever call 911? Number two, the original Night Stalker. Before you say that Richard was the Night Stalker, there was one before him in a voicemail that he left his symptoms. He will just listen to it. I'll play a little bit of it. Number one, the Area 51 phone call. A radio station received a call from a former employee of Area 51. The man stated that aliens are in another plane of our vision, but we can't see them. This gets even stranger when the phone was disconnected from anything but the caller. A year later, a man claimed that he was the one who claimed it to the radio. But seriously, I believe that they're aliens. There's aliens there. So like, hey, what's going on? Why is he getting all disturbed? Oh no, I'm getting cut off by the Area 51 people.